Hi, this is Christian, and welcome to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news, coming your way, Week 1 Predictions. The last time these two teams met, it was in double overtime when Justin Tucker was kicking the game-winning field goal to kick Denver out of the playoffs. This time it's different, and when the season opener kicks off at mile high between the Denver Broncos and the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens have a lot of different new pieces. Kerry Williams is gone, and so is Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, Danell Ellerby, and Paul Kruger. The Broncos have a lot of new people, including Wes Welker and newly emerged tight end Julius Thomas. Elvis Doomerville and Chris Canny are now on the Ravens, though, so they have some new additions as well. Both teams are looking to prove something in this season opener on Thursday, but who will win? Well, I'm saying the Denver Broncos come out strong and edge out the Ravens for the win. It's the Denver Broncos versus the Baltimore Ravens. A Super Bowl favorite versus a Super Bowl winner. The Ravens came out strong last year, beating the Broncos out and going to the Super Bowl and winning it all versus the San Francisco 49ers. So this time, the Broncos will be in it for revenge. With a stacked receiver game, including Wes Welker, Demarius Thomas, and Eric Decker, a great running back, Ronnie Hillman, and a powerful quarterback throwing the ball, Peyton Manning, I think the Broncos will easily win this one over the Baltimore Ravens. One of the NFL's best new rivalries when the Atlanta Falcons take on the New Orleans Saints. Now the Saints have gotten better, and then again, they have not. Their defense has not really improved except with the addition of safety Kenny Vaccaro. And their offense will definitely improve. Even though they lost Devery Henderson, they still get Sean Payton back, which is a huge plus for their offense. On the Falcon side, they lost John Abraham, but they get cornerback Desmond Trufant, on which they drafted in the first round of this year's NFL draft. So that will be good for them. Brent Grimes is also coming back from an injury, but here's the catch. He went to the Dolphins, so they won't have him anymore. And Matt Ryan, after winning his first playoff game, will be excited for the season. So who will win this matchup? I'm taking the Atlanta Falcons, but the New Orleans Saints should make this game a good one. It's the Atlanta Falcons versus the New Orleans Saints. The Saints are going to improve this year, considering they have Sean Payton back. However, the Falcons are in it to win it, with a powerful receiving game featuring Roddy White and Julio Jones. They have also have new addition for their running game, Steven Jackson. Matt Ryan should come out strong and lead the Falcons to a win over the Saints. Carolina is looking to make some noise in the NFC this year, but first they'll have to pass the Seattle Seahawks and their season opener. The Seahawks have been the talk of the NFL and the NFC. Almost every analyst is saying, hey, we're going to go to the NFC Championship or the Super Bowl. Now, while I would agree with that statement, the Panthers are on the rise as well. The Panthers obviously aren't good as the Seahawks, but the Panthers do have some talent. With Cam Newton, Steve Smith, D'Angelo Williams, and Luke Keekley. this team is pretty good as well. Now, my gut tells me that the Panthers are going to win, but my common sense tells me that Seattle is going to win. So who will I pick in this matchup? Well, I'm taking the Seattle Seahawks in a close one. But don't sleep on Carolina. They could be the sleeper team this year. But I project the Seahawks to beat the Panthers at Bank of America Stadium. This is an easy one for me. The Seahawks, which is a big Super Bowl prediction, versus the Carolina Panthers. Now, the Panthers are going to be good this year. Cam Newton will lead them to a great season, along with Steve Smith and D'Angelo Williams, and a great defense, including Luke Keekley. However, the Seahawks are going to be great this year. And as a Super Bowl favorite, I think they'll easily beat Carolina. Last year's season opener featured the Giants and the Cowboys. That time I picked the Giants to win, and I was wrong as Tony Romo to Kevin Ogletree 
seemed like the new combination, at least for the time, and the Cowboys were able to get a win over the Giants, 24-17. Now this year is different, with the Cowboys narrowly missing the playoffs, and the Giants two years removed from a Super Bowl now. And the Cowboys look to be better, but I'm not buying into it. Des Bryant is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with, and so is Miles Austin. DeMarco Murray, after his injury struggles early, should come back from that, and he should be ready to perform. And Tony Romo, he just got a fresh, brand new contract, so he should be ready to perform out that as well. The Giants, on the other hand, have looked a little shaky in the preseason with Eli Manning having some red zone struggles, but don't worry about that. Victor Cruz is back from his preseason injury, and Akeem Nix is hoping to have a nice healthy season. So the Giants should make this game interesting, but I'm taking the minor upset as the Cowboys should prevail over the New York Giants. It's the New York Giants versus the Dallas Cowboys. This one will be better than expected. The Cowboys have improved big time. Their defense has gotten better. They've gotten DeMarco Murray and a great receiving game, including Dez Bryant and Miles Austin. So for the Cowboys, this game will ride on that if Tony Ono can survive the clutch and make this game a win for the Cowboys. However, that doesn't mean they can beat the Giants, which are a great team that just added David Wilson straight out of Virginia Tech and, of course, a great quarterback, Eli Manning. Hakeem Nix just came off an injury last year, but he'll still be quite up to par. I think the Giants will win this one. The Monday night football opener when the Philadelphia Eagles play the Washington Redskins. The Redskins were the division champs from last year, and they're looking to make that two straight, but it's going to be tough with the NFC East being pretty competitive. The Eagles, with their high-octane offense, look pretty good in the preseason and are looking to show that off against the Redskins on Monday night. It's going to be a great game with the Eagles and the Redskins both having playoff aspirations upcoming this year. The Redskins have their share of weapons with Santana Moss, Leonard Hankerson, Josh Morgan, and Pierre Garçon, along with Alfred Moore. But the Eagles need to cut down on their turnovers if they have any chance of winning this game. But Deshaun Jackson is a speedy wideout that can get it done. So who will win? Well, I'm taking the Washington Redskins to start the season 1-0 over the Eagles. It's the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Washington Redskins. This game is going to be pretty simple. The Eagles have Michael Vick throwing to people like Deshaun Jackson, but Michael Vick isn't great when it comes to getting a TD for the team. Well, Sean McCoy is a great running back and all, but that doesn't mean he can beat out Alfred Morris to win the game. The Redskins win.
can Robert Griffin III, also known as RG3, defy all doubters and get his team back to the playoffs? Well, there's a pretty good chance. He did not turn the ball over that much, and with over 20 touchdowns total, he looks like a great candidate to be a great player and get his team back to the playoffs. Some big news is that EJ Manuel is the Bills starter and is more than likely to start during week one. Also quarterback Geno Smith of the Jets will start for the first few weeks until Sanchez recovers and who knows if he plays well he might have the job for good. Then Terrell Pryor for the Raiders will be the starter as speculated by some media. And finally, Andrew Hawkins is placed on IR for the Cincinnati Bengals. That means Dane Sonsenbacher should get some serious time playing in the slot wide receiver position.